So learning target seven, converting equations from polar form to rectangular form. You have to know the equations from last week. So if you're given an equation in rectangular form, you know, put in polar form, that means any x and y needs to be changed so that you have r's and thetas. Now, these are the two easiest ones to use. Because I know that x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta, so those should be easy swaps, right? So all this is just based on substitution of things we already know. So the very first example, if I know that y equals 2, and I want to change it to the polar form, I need to change y to what I know that y equals. So what does y equal? r sine theta. So we just replace it. Now, we need to write it in the correct format. So polar equations should say r equals or theta equals, just like rectangular equations say x equals or y equals. So we need to make this say r equals. So I'm solving for r. What do I do? Divide by sine theta. Divide by sine theta. And then this answer is not wrong, but it could be a little bit better because we don't like fractions. What trig function is the same thing as 1 divided by sine theta? Uh, the cosecant. So I could also rewrite this as 2 cosecant theta. But that's it. R equals 2 cosecant theta. That's what I got. I'm done. It's not that bad. We're trying to rewrite where it says y equals 2 into a polar equation. So we need r's and thetas. Yeah. All right, on the second one, same idea. I have x squared and I have y squared. I need to replace the x and the y. So we substitute in what x and y are equal to in polar form. So x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. We need to square everything. Now, be careful. You have r times cosine theta. That's two individual pieces of the product, so we need to square both of them. So you get r squared cosine squared plus r squared sine squared. And any time you see cosine squared and sine squared, you know that cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. That one, everyone knows. So they aren't technically written that way right now. We need to have it say cosine squared plus sine squared. So we need to factor the r squared out. So we have r squared, and then we'd have cosine squared plus sine squared left over. I know cosine squared plus sine squared is just 1, so r squared times 1 is just r, r squared. Now I'm trying to solve for r, so how do I solve for r? And so I get positive and negative 4. No, just r. There isn't a theta left in the question now. Mm -mm. We're not solving a system or anything, or getting a coordinate. We're just rewriting the equation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, why is this positive and negative 4? If we think about it, when we graphed in learning target 3, what does the graph of r equals 4 look like? So it's a circle, right? It's every single... Um, point that had an r of 4. So it makes a circle. So then what does the graph of r equals negative 4 look like? It's the same circle. So you'd have both of these. It's just a circle, so... Whatever. Okay, so you have positive and negative 4. If you don't have one of those, then you've left out part of the solution because both of them are equivalent. They're the same circle. Make sure you do that. Alright, questions on those two examples? Now, on 
doing your homework. I'm just throwing this out there. If you had an example like this in the exact same format, then I can show you a shorter way to do it. But if it was a little bit different, you'd have to do it this way. So if you had x squared plus y squared equals 16y, then you'd have to start it this way. You'd have to change that other y on the other side of the equal sign to r sine theta as well. Okay? Got it? You, every time you see an x or y, you have to substitute in what that is equal to. But, but if it was just in this format, x squared plus y squared equals a constant, and there weren't any extra x's or y's that are extra, then think about this for a second. I know that r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. That was also one of my equations last week. Right? And I have an x squared plus y squared in this equation. So how could I rewrite the equation in blue to just say x squared plus y squared instead of the square root of x squared plus y squared? Square. So I get r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So I get this entire question, instead of substituting everything in, I could just substitute r squared in for x squared plus y squared. And then I would take the square root and get the same answer and a lot less steps. Again, I showed you this first way because you're going to have to do it on the homework because on one of the questions, you have x squared plus y squared, and then it says equals some number times y or some number times x. So you have to do it this way. You have to substitute everything in and out because every x and y has to change into r's and thetas. Okay, you can't have an equation in polar form that still has a y left over. It doesn't work that way. Okay, but if it was just like this and it said x squared plus y squared equals some constant, you could use this idea in blue. Okay? Questions on these examples? Well, let's do the opposite. If you're given polar equations and you want to put them in rectangular form, that means we need to change it so that all the r's are x's and y's. Okay? So on the first one, same idea, we're using formulas we already have to substitute in straight swaps, right? So we can get our different variables. So if I have r equals 6, what could I substitute? So the square root of x squared plus y squared. Right. I get the square root of x squared plus y squared equals 6. Now, we need to put the equation into an appropriate format. If you're writing an equation, in linear coordinates, right, rectangular coordinates, then what should it normally say? What should your equation normally say? Say y equals, right? Yeah. So we need to solve this for y equals. Just leaving it this way isn't, no equation you've ever seen is left that way, right? So we're just going to solve for y equals. You could square this, so you get x squared plus y squared equals 36. Now, Technically, this is an appropriate answer because this is a circle. Yeah. We're going to talk about circles when we do conic sections in the next unit. So that's okay. If you weren't familiar with that, then you could go ahead and solve for y. So if we're going to solve for y, we would subtract x squared from both sides. And then we would take the square root. And do not write that as y equals 6 minus x because it's not. You can't just take the square root of 36 minus x squared and you get 6 minus x. It does not work. The difference of two numbers is not the same as the square root of a single number. Okay, let's check. So either of those two would be acceptable. Questions on that example? All right, on the next one. This one's kind of tricky. It's not as obvious. In this case, we have an r, which we know what to do with, but we also have a theta. And what we do not want to do, because it'll be a hot mess, is put square root of x squared plus y squared in for r, and then put arc tangent of y over x in for theta. That's just messy, and that can get really confusing really fast. We do not want to do that. It could be, but that just seems like a hot mess waiting to happen. I did not do it that way. Probably, but I don't want to. It might not work. I don't know. I didn't do it that way. 
What I do know over on the screen, I know that x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. So if I could get r cosine theta or r sine theta, I would be in good shape. So, first of all, I don't have sine theta or cosine theta to begin with, so I need to figure that out. I need to rewrite this. Right, I need to change secant, and if I change secant, that turns into what? Negative 1 over cosine. Everyone okay with that? We just change secant. If I write r as a fraction, r over 1, I can cross multiply. We don't want to cancel, we just want to cross multiply. r times cosine is r times cosine theta equals negative 1. r cosine theta looks like something. r cosine theta looks like it's equal to x. So we just have x equals negative 1. Exactly. <laughs> Questions about that? All right, now there are two additional examples on the back. I'm going to do one of them, and then I'm not going to do the other one, I'm going to make up one. So that it looks more like your homework. Okay? This first one. R equals 6 cosine theta. This is almost like the one we just did, except for I need to say R cosine theta. And I can't manipulate this like by dividing by R or something to get it to say R cosine theta. So, what I need to do, the easiest way to do this, because it's an equation, you can do whatever you want to as long as you do both sides, right? No, it's not. I'm verifying. We're not verifying anything. Minus cosine. No. Oh. You can't subtract cosine because it's not being added. Oh. But if you divide it, that turns into secant. And so then you have r secant theta, and that doesn't work either. That's not right. So here's what you should do. So while we're doing this one, it's kind of tricky. Divided by 6 gets you r over 6 equals cosine theta. That still doesn't help you. It's not being added, so you can't subtract it. So what do you live I'm trying to tell you? <laughs> so since it's an equation, we can do whatever we want to to both sides. So I'm going to multiply both sides by r. So you have r squared equals 6r cosine theta. r cosine theta is something. What does r cosine theta equal? x. So I have 6x. And then what does r squared equal? r equals x squared, squared of x squared plus y squared. So what does r squared equal? Okay, so we have to change all the r's to x's and y's. So I've got x squared plus y squared. If I was going to write that into appropriate format, I probably want to move all of the x's on the same side and solve for y. But I suggest you might. So you subtract x squared, then you would take the square root. Correct. So you just leave it that way. That didn't make any sense, but okay. I'm going to make one up in its place. I picked out a different one that goes more towards your homework. Yeah, already that's in my head. Okay, if you're given the equation theta equals pi over 4, we've been doing one like this, which is why I'm doing it. Theta equals pi over 4. I don't have an r this time, so I'm not replacing r. I'm replacing theta. So I can replace theta with arc tangent of y over x. Right, that's one of your equations from Friday. So I replace that. Arc tangent of y over x equals pi over 4. Now I need to solve for y. So I don't want to have arc tangent anymore. So how do I get rid of the inverse tangent? Take the tangent of both sides, because arc tangent and tangent are inverses. So you get y over x equals the tangent of pi over 4. Now, you're going to use the unit circle. At pi over 4, you have the point, the square root of 2, 
over 2, square root of 2 over 2. 1. The tangent is y over x, right? So the tangent is 1. And then we don't write equations, y over x equals. So we need to solve for y. So how do you solve for y? Multiply by x. So y equals 1x. Or y equals x. Correct. Which makes sense because what does the what's theta equals pi over 4 look like when you graph it? We talked about the learning target 3, right? R equals is always going to be a circle. So R equals is always a circle, and theta equals is always a line. So it makes sense. If you said rectangle, I don't really know what you're talking about. All right, so on the homework, on your homework, if you're going to find sine, cosine, or tangent or anything, like in this scenario we just did, make sure you use the unit circle. I'm not taking decimal answers when there's one exact value on the unit circle. Okay? On the other ones, make sure you're showing your work so you don't lose any pieces. Um, I need to change the homework real fast. What? Not a lot. I tried, I was going to omit a question in the process of trying to omit a question. I put it down as one of your homework questions and then I messed it up. So, for learning target seven. What does it say on your plan sheet page? What? And it says, what's the first number? All right, it's 26 through 29, not 26 through 28 and 30. I was trying to get rid of 30. 26 through 29, and then 32 to 36 even. So seven. It's the last one. Where's five and six go? Did them last week. 